The knee brace, as you can see by the SOLIDWORKS model, is going through final evaluation by Joe from the machine shop as we're waiting to machine the raw material to create the prototype. We've ordered sheets of 1 inch 6061 aluminum for the calf and knee wraparound, and we will use leftover cutouts of the sheet to create the hinge. We've also ordered 1 inch 6061 aluminum to make the back plate of the hinge and to allow for a strong base to mount the other components. The process to machine the calf and knee portions of the brace have moderate chance of failure, so extra material was ordered just in case. Pins were ordered separately, as advised by Joe. The skin, the skin interface will also be ordered separately, which includes the neoprene sleeve and any plastics to shield the edges of the metal brace to the subject. In our design, we are going to be able to manipulate the knee angles via a slider moving by a string wrapped around a 5mm diameter high torque servo motor spoke. We will mount the motor to the hinge so that the length of the string does not have to be adjusted during knee bending, as if it were mounted to the brace itself. We have changed from an actuator to a high torque servo motor due to time and budgetary constraints. FEA simulations for static loading have been successfully run to show the static loading in the Y and Z direction. We are currently working on torsion and shear loading on the pins as they have to withstand the majority of the force as the knee is continuously rotating and changing the force vector. We are going to do this by running a simulation where the brace is bent to see if the design will allow for this type of loading during the full gait cycle. We plan to test this prototype immediately after manufacturing is complete. We have not yet run into any problems with the design, but we will add any updates once we have started manufacturing on the prototype. The electrical components for the design including their Arduino Nano 33BLE microcontroller and LSM9DS1 inertial mass unit sensor shown have been obtained and have undergone testing. Shown here is testing of the accelerometer sensor to read data in the X, Y, and Z directions as displayed on the serial plotter. The raw test data from the accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer has been collected shown in Excel to verify the sensor's ability to read data. Next, the sensors were placed on different portions of the knee while the same data collection process was used. Here is live accelerometer data while the sensor is placed on the upper portion of the knee during my walking gait cycle. Again, test data of my walking gait cycle from the accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer has been compiled in the Excel files shown. For the next portion of our project, we will focus on processing this data into information that can be used to communicate with the servo motor in order to make the brace adaptable and also implementing the electrical portion to the physical brace.